Hey people, Sylvia's here. I'm in the sands of. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna shoot through this guy. Uh, I'm in the. Well, I'm in Zawabi's refuge right now. I'm heading to the sands of uh, Metachamter. Uh, I'm doing the Chamber of Rayum, something like that, which was picked up by that dude back there. Mirak Thriceborn. Um, Mirak Thriceborn has some kind of magical trickery that lets him transfer his soul to the soul of a dying child. Mirak Thriceborn would like to let you guys know, though, that he doesn't kill children, he just finds children that are incurable and then transfers his soul to them, which somehow heals them. I don't know. Anyway, as his name uh, sums it up, he's done this three times, but his spirit's still aging and he can't do it anymore because he's a loser, I guess. Uh, he wants Zawabi to help him, but Zawabi refused, so now he wants me to go kill a Lich because in that time, when I kill the Lich... Zawabi's wards will temporarily like drop or, for some reason and he thinks he can command Zawabi to, I don't know help him transfer his soul one more time so that's the quest we're here to do um, as I walk over here though, I'd like to point out that I have attempted to do this quest or this video I should say I've attempted to do this video like six times now <laughs> I've actually completed the quest I think three times I like that my uh, footsteps seem to glow when I got near that. Heh, <laughs> that's kinda neat. Um, yeah, so like the first time I did this quest, and I'm going to use this as my screenshot here because I think it makes for a good screenshot, but give me one second. Screenshot time! I uh, kinda like that one. There we go. Alright, yep, yeah, screenshot. Um, though, just on a side note, too. Unlike all the other quests here, uh, this, this one you actually... Structure houses the tomb of the Wizard King. Right. You have to pick this one up before, you know, it's not like a walk-up quest. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, like, the first time I did it, everything went well. I mean, the video was a little bit long because I screwed some stuff up, but, I mean, for the most part, like, everything went well with it. Um, I don't really think there's any reason to cast that here. Whatever. You enter the tomb's antechamber and live to find it out of the And the first thing we got are gnolls. Just throwing that out there. You gotta clear out this uh like foyer area of all the gnolls. And they're in all these little alcoves. Sick. <laughs> Cannot complain about a three hundred and thirty one crit. Anyway though, yeah, so like I go through, do the stupid quest. Uh, and then I'm, like, going to go take my, uh, like, screenshot for the next video kind of thing that I do. Um, and as I'm, like, going through the video, I realize that it's, like, a glitchy, buggy mess. Um, <clears throat> I guess what happened was, um, my computer decided it needed to, like, update itself and just updated itself. I got crap following me, don't I? So, yeah, basically, like, everything on my computer just started sucking because it forced me to go through with this update. Windows 10 is amazing, by the way. So I go through this update. Now everything, like, doesn't work right or is just junk all around. Um, so I, like, make the video again, <laughs> thinking that, like, it was just whatever because of the update or something. So I make the video again. This time I actually die in the video, and so does my hireling. Mostly because uh, he stood inside of a trap and wouldn't move out of it, and then in my efforts to get him out of the trap, I ended up getting killed by the trap, and then he died. But anyway, it happens. Uh, oh, and just for the record, this uh, den mother or whatever her face is, she's not always here. She is a like, rare encounter. Um, she does give you <clears throat> EXP if you kill her, because she's also an optional. She does not drop a chest. That chest is always here. And that chest only contains the crest to plop in that thing and open up that door and also that door up there. Furthermore, while we're at it too, that uh, restaurant over there and that restaurant over there are half of the restaurants in this quest. Doors open. Wee. The other ones are in the center of the quest. You can also, t real quick, if I just stop here, uh, this is the map. Um, it's actually moderately confusing because a lot of these are overlapping floors. So, like, right now I'm going into, which would be, like, the second floor. There is also a basement floor, which is access through there. And then in here, 
here and somewhere around here there are like towers that lead up into even more levels and that's not what I meant to do. Anyway, so like yeah, I died the second time, came back. Um, cursed wound. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Champion. Goodbye, Mr. Champion. Those Eternal Guardians, by the way, which are an optional thing. You gotta kill so many of them. Um, they're, they are orange names, so if you do get champion ones, there's a chance that you'll get chests, which is awesome. As always. So anyway, make the video again. Still a buggy mess. Make the video again. Still a buggy mess. Uh, I updated DDO. Um, I updated... I'm actually going to just kind of clear out this level a little bit. Um, I updated my recording programs, so I'm like I'm pretty sure it's mostly fixed right now. But it was just a huge hassle. And also, in one point when I recorded my or updated my recording programs, because I use a like same same company but like different make for DDO recording versus Tibia recordings. Um, so when I updated that, it, for some reason, defaulted my, uh, it's a trap. Admiral Akbar would be proud. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's all good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but anyway, when I upgraded my recording program, it defaulted, and I don't know why, defaulted to, like, audio mute. So then I made the video again, and then afterwards just realized that all of the audio was muted. Now this is one of the traps that my hireling just casually walks through. Um, like always, you can just hop through these, but eventually they start moving at you. And this is actually the... This is not the specific trap that I ended up dying at, but I ended up dying at a trap similar to this one. Because my hireling just, you know, kind of stood in them. <laughs> kind of like that, to be honest. Kind of like that. Luckily, I'm capable of casting Resurrect these days. I think that might be the first time I've ever cast that spell. I think. I do have a level 12 favorite soul, and I'm pretty sure that means my level 12 favorite soul is capable of casting um, Raise Dead, but I don't know if I've ever actually had to cast it. And I'm pretty sure I've never cast uh, Resurrect before. Alright, well, he's stuck. I'll quote that. Anyway, uh, useful buff in this quest is, um... Acid resistance. Several of these, uh, towers have various acid traps in them. They also have spinning blade traps, too. Um, the skeleton wizard dudes that'll pop up every now and then, they have very heavy-hitting magic missiles on Elite. Thinking about like 60 damage per shot, and as you know, magic missile is uh, not blockable unless you have shield or night shield. Um, so if you're capable of casting either one of those, those are a good option. Um, electric resistance is good for because they also shoot lightning bolts. And there's like one spot in this quest that can have fire traps. And the only other thing you have to worry about, I believe, is um, the boss himself has a cold shield and probably can attack with various elemental types, but I don't remember which ones. I'm actually more concerned about the elemental. Yeah, see, there you go. Magic missile. I said, like, it's a really potent magic missile. Uh, I actually want to see if I'm capable of casting night shield. Nope. That's not a thing I'm capable of casting. That's too bad. I was thinking I would actually, like, change my, uh, my spells if I could. Anyway, so the way this quest works, it's been a while since I've actually gotten to the talk to it about, uh, talk to, talk about the important things part. Um, so we need to kill Ram. The quest does not actually end when you kill Ram. It ends when you pick up his, uh, Lich Soul thingy, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. This, I'm pretty sure, by the way, is an acid trap. Yep, there you go. Acid trap. Also, some of these have spikes that pop out of the walls. Kind of like that. I'm 
pretty sure I'm like standing in the trap right now. Yeah, I'm standing in the trap. Can you just like die and stuff? Thanks. All right. Oh, nice. Mysterious remnants. <clears throat> so yeah, the quest only ends when you uh, pick up his thing, which is like hidden in a room behind him. Um, so if for some reason you did not want to end the quest right when you kill him, that's not that big of a deal. Anyway, Ram is in one of the three towers that are in the quest, of which I'm like currently making my way up. In. Um. Yeah, I guess uh, fire resistance wouldn't necessarily be bad for the firewalls, but I feel like it's easier to just kill those guys rather than rely on that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he's in one of the towers. In the other two towers are his underlings, like Hefez and Hammy, I think they're called. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I was running towards that guy, and I was like, you know what? I'm pretty positive this is going to collapse on me. Also, before I continue, uh, these Mummy Avenger dudes um, are noteworthy because they are capable of casting um, Dispel Magic. So you might end up losing various buff spells and stuff that you have on you. Usually they don't uh, hit, like, knock out anything too high level, so I think their, like, caster level's not great. Um, but they can usually take out my Expeditious Retreat clickies, which is uh, all sorts of annoying. Uh, but yeah, so, his underlings are in the other towers. Um, furthermore, it's actually kind of hard. Like, when I did this quest completely the first time, and, like, you know, scoured everything for every loose kill and stuff like that, I was only able to get, um, Mischief bonus. I wasn't able to get Ransack fully, or even the middle one. And I wasn't able to get, um... Now this one might be one of the levers that are trapped with fire. So I'm going to cast fire resistance on myself, just in case. Okay. Now nope, we're good. Um, I wasn't able to get... Uh, I was only able to get aggression to not onslaught or uh, conquest either. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal to really try to hold all of them. Uh, just on a side note, too. There's this uh, stone tablet back here. Uh, you need an intelligence, I believe, of 18 to, to read it. I'm too stupid. <clears throat> By the way, this is another room filled with, like, mummies and stuff that pops out in the same area. Uh, and it'll tell you, it'll at least give you a hint, I think, as to whose tower you're in right now. And if you really want to know whose tower you're in, um, there's also on the actual, like, basement level, there is a, um, method, I believe a fire method who's an NPC, um, and he wanders around, and every so often he'll say something like, I need to go to the southeast tower to, like, clean Master Hemi's quarters or something along those lines. Um, so if you really want to know, you could just follow him around. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, I wouldn't really bother with the whole, like, conquest and stuff. Usually I do. But since I wasn't able to, like, fully get it in the first place, it's not that big of a deal. Um, furthermore, a huge amount of this quest's EXP comes from the, uh, the optionals of sorts. So, even then, like, it's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, don't worry about it, is what I'm saying. You're gonna pop out, right? Yeah. Oh, I missed my trip attempt. That's kind of annoying. Alright, so yeah, you can again see this floor is going to be one of the ones that drop. Uh, just on a side note, <laughs> I figured since I could see it already broken, this was one of the ones that wasn't going to break. That was obviously a mistake on my part. Alright, are these guys considered evil? No. Alright, whatever. We'll just kill them the old-fashioned way. That was uh, sort of annoying, though. But yeah, as I was going to say, um, the skeletons can stand on the, like, they can hover, basically, like that one is. Um, 
And for some reason, skeleton archers are always, like, abnormally durable. Okay, apparently everybody can just walk across the green crap. That's nice. Yeah, skeleton archers are always, like, have significantly more HP than, um, like, skeleton knights and everything else. It's really weird. I was gonna be sort of annoyed if I didn't make that jump. All oh, right, so I think we're almost at the top of this tower. You can kind of see where I'm like at on the map at this point too. Clay golems. It's questionable if this sword is actually better at killing the clay golems, but I should really make myself a. Um... This is it probably an acid trap? Yeah. I should probably make myself a, um, like an anti-construct weapon. Get me some, uh, construct bane weaponry. And go from there. Okay, good. Alright. Okay, so as he said. <laughs> um, so... I think when I was doing the Chamber of Kurush and the Chamber of Ramat, I mentioned that um, they drop, like, the Seals of something and the Seals of Heaven or something like that. I forget what the other one was called. Um, those seals are used to banish these dudes. Um, so, like, one of them banishes... There's two Jinns and uh, one Ifriti here. So they're used to banish the Jinns. There's a chain... There's a Seal of Fire, I want to say, hidden somewhere in this quest that banishes this guy. Um, you can fight them normally, though. Uh, if you do banish them, it just kills them. You do get their chests, which are over there. And you do get the e EXP. Um, so, what is this? Immortal dares challenge the servant of the Wizard King? Speak, mortal, lest I burn you to ash with the heat of a thousand fires. Allow me to pass. The Freddy laughs, an evil sound that echoes through the chamber. Smoke billows from his nostrils and flames scorch the stone under his feet. I shall do no such thing. Long have I served the Wizard King. In fact, tell me why I shouldn't destroy you. A duel to the death. I'm actually going to switch weapons, because I don't need the uh, undead killing one. I actually find the Afridi, like easier to fight um, than the Jinns, and I like that my hireling just casually moved into the firewall and is standing there. So yeah, you get like 2k EXP for killing him, and you'll get that same one for the Jinns. So it's not bad. Uh, this chest, this quest is also really chest heavy too. So Hammy and Hefez and Rayam are all uh, red names. Um, Hammy and Hefez are uh, mummies. Rayam is a lich. Why did I take off of my? Uh... <laughs> I like I unequipped my voice of the master going into the kill the guy that gave more XP. Um, I think 90 damage is max damage you can take from a fall. I'm not really sure, though. Jabib must remember to the southern wing and dust Hammy's tomb. Jabib is around here somewhere, apparently. Uh, the western tomb is Hefez. Well, there you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know where exactly Jabib is, but that's what he says. Jabib the torch letter. These are the other two um, rest shrines. This is an optional. The Wizard King's treasure chamber through this doorway. There are three chests in there. Um, if you're doing this quest on Epic, the Epic chest is in there also. Um, to open it, you need to kill the two uh, underlings and Ram. <clears throat> Considering that killing the underlings is by themselves, like you need to kill the the Jin or Ifriti Guardian too. Just killing them is like six point like two or three k exp plus one chest themselves. Uh, it's basically just worth it to go for it. I think. Trap. Come on, I know this is a trap. There we go. There's the trap part. Divine might. Get out of my face. Divine favor while we're at it. 
Um, yeah, so like I think it's definitely worth it to go for the uh, the various optionals. Um, the actual like quest completion EXP isn't like huge. Yeah, it's like 10k basically. I'm just rounding up. By the way, when we dropped down here, we dropped onto the basement level. I'm going to recast my uh, resistance acid. <clears throat> and this takes us back into the uh, the foyer with the knolls, and then back up to where we were. Now... Oh, hey, there's a gold behind me. Gas, whatever. Two of them, in fact. We're gonna head down this way, though. And I'm going to also recast my resistance to electricity. And kill these nice golems. Uh, so anyway, though, yeah, I think this quest is, like, worth it if you go for the optionals. Um, this quest is actually, like, really great EXP if you have a, like, competent team of people. Because um, what a really good team can do is uh, they can split up. So if you get, like, a team of six, you can split up into two groups of three, or even better, if you're really confident and, like, your people know what they're doing. You can split up into three groups of two. Um, and then one group... And that's not good timing. And that was not the right button. Okay. I like that that just didn't deal any damage to me. Just casually walked right through the trap. This is, I'm pretty sure, is it? I thought for sure that was a trap. Alright. That is, though. Anyway. Yeah, you split up and, um... Like, two of you go to each tower. And then you just hit each of the three towers basically simultaneously. Um... And then you can finish the quest in basically like a third of its time, which is fantastic if it works. Less great if, uh, like, one of the teams falls apart or something like that, but still, like... Uh, it's really good because it allows you to hit all the optionals, get the extra chests. Um, if you do hit all the optionals, entering the um, treasure room is, I think, like, 1k EXP also, plus three chests again. So yeah, I mean, it lets you get all the bonus EXP and stuff like that, hit the optionals, um, and everything's great. Am I not opening that? That was weird. I was positive I hit the right button there. Well, yeah, long story short. So yeah, like, if you have a competent team, this quest is really good EXP. Um, otherwise, this quest can be, like, sort of long to do it solo. I mean, it's still really good EXP. Um, in fact, like, this quest is definitely one of the, uh, I think, like, the better EXP quests. Um, again, especially if you have a good group. Nice, Clay Golem Exterminator. Die, Mr. Eternal Wizard. No lightning bolts for you. No magic missiles, either. Yay, I don't know. Oh, I guess the Eternal Gatekeepers also cast a spell, and are also better at it than I am. Not all of these back walls are trapped, as you can see, this one isn't. Also, weirdly enough, in some of these towers, like on these stairs, you'll run into blade traps, and uh, as you noticed from those wall traps I was getting hit by too, for some reason those traps do very, very little damage, and I don't know why. Um, but in the towers on the stairs, the, the blade traps that pop out of the ground, like, really do almost no damage. I'm talking like 10 or something like that, which is just absurdly low, and I'm not sure why that's the case. I botched that uh, acid resist. I tried to hit it too soon. <clears throat> um, likewise, those like the traps that were popping out of the wall also hit for like relatively low damage, and I'm still I'm not really sure why. Get on the floor, Mr. Mummy Avenger. Also, these rooms that are set up like this with the two pillars often have a um, mage that sometimes gets stuck in the corner. Uh, he gets like stuck on that side of the corner. I'm not sure why exactly that happens, but um, you'll miss him because he'll keep shooting his magic into the wall, and then when you run past him, he'll be hitting you from behind. So just uh, weird, be cautious of that situation. 
get my hireling over here and have him actually heal me. While I kill this dude. Hireling, can I get a heal? Heals, please. You're useless, my friend. I'm gonna cast fire resistance on myself just in case this lever is one of the ones that are trapped. I think it might be. Yeah, there you go. It's also, it's possible that, like, the trap won't go off if the methods are killed. Because, like, the last two times I did this quest, I did not encounter those traps at all. So I'm not really sure the mechanics of this. Also, on a side note, it's freezing in my house right now. Please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. Okay. Yeah, I kind of just want this to, like, be over since I've done this quest so many times in the past, like, couple of days. Whoops, I did not actually mean to drop down like that. Do, do, do. Why is he just sprinting? You know, I'm not not gonna ask. There's just like one of the uh, the what are they? Eternal warriors just sprinting down that staircase for some reason. I'm just gonna go with it though. Also, man, they love putting these uh, eternal hunter dudes. There he's he's back on the edge, and they love like jumping backwards off the edge, and then you get to hop down and fight him to there. It's actually, like, incredibly annoying, and I don't know why they do it that way. Oh, look. He dispelled a bunch of my crap. Also, what, like, four or so of the Eternal Guardians I fought so far have been, um, champions, and none of them have dropped the chest? A little disappointing. Also, too, while we're at it, in this quest, um... In just random locations, you'll just randomly find chests, like, laying around. Um, I believe the number you can find is somewhat random. Um, like, they're not always there. So, so far, I haven't found any. The last time I made this video, though, I found, like, four? <laughs> um, plus all the other chests that the quest has. I ended up getting, like, 12 chests in this quest. It was actually kind of amazing, and I'm, I was really ticked off of that video also. That's annoying. Like, all sorts of annoying. By the way, that uh, divine strength thing I picked up, I uh, swapped out a couple of my enhancements, like respect minorly. Um, so that lets me... I took out my whole... Um, turn on dead deals light damage thing because the, the damage it actually dealt was like really insignificant I mean like I guess an AOE like deal 100 damage to everybody was kind of nice but it wasn't huge damage and I mean like I don't know you're annoying dude the uh, the actual damage I deal with my sword was like pretty comparable I mean sure not like I can't hit, like, ten enemies at once with my, uh, sword. But then on the other hand, whatever I'm like... Did I already hit the lever? No, I didn't already hit the lever. Awesome. You suck. He's gonna prevent me from hitting the lever. He's gonna keep hitting me, so I gotta kill him with this. But anyway, yeah, I guess the issue was, um against enemies that I'm actually capable of, like, or whenever I'm swarmed by undead, I should say, they're usually weak undead, and I don't need to be able to, like, quickly drop them with an AoE. But they still don't die within, like, one or two hits. So it was just, like, a, it was a of questionable ability, or questionable use ability. I think this is the spinny traps in this one. Yeah. So, yeah, like, look how weak this trap is. 11. Come on. Yeah, there we go. 10. Like, I don't get it. So anyway, though, yeah, I swapped it out for this uh, Divine Strength. Divine Might, sorry, that's what it's called. Um, there you go. See, look at that. It uh, adds my Charisma bonus to my Strength for it. At this point, because it's only on Step 2, um, for 60 seconds. If I upgrade it again, and I'm planning on it. Really? Uh, 
and I picked a really bad time to just randomly switch my uh, my weapon. No, stop dispelling me. <laughs> stop it. There we go. Annoyed that also he did not give me a chest, but whatever. Here we go. This would be one of the gins that you could use the seals on. Free to trespass in the lands of King Ram. Speak, mortal, lest I strike you down where you stand. You are brave to speak this way to a lord of the Aether, but I cannot help you in your quest. The wizard king summoned me by speaking my true name, then bound me to this realm with the seal of the soul. The seal is lost, and a geese prevents me from yelling my true name. Let's fight. These dudes aren't evil, so holy weapons aren't really a great option. They're also not undead, so an undead bane weapon is not a great option. And I'm pretty sure when he does his, yeah, I'm going to turn into a whirlwind. If he, like, bumps into you, he knocks you down. And he's also largely immune to damage in that form, too. So just kind of stay away from him while he's in this form. He also, I believe, casts Displacement on himself. It might be Blur, I honestly can't tell. Um, true Seeing gets through both that perfectly, though. So yeah, 2k EXP, a chest again. And then boss time. And I'm going to remember to quit my voice of the master. It's a dude. And it's dead. And we're falling. Bam. I'm actually going to use the restaurant, because I'm kind of low on mana. But anyway, yeah, so, I also, uh, since I needed something else on this bottom level, I ended up taking the thing that gives me additional uses of turn undead, so I can use this ability even more times. <laughs> it's just seemed like a better option, so I don't know. I'm largely liking it so far. I've got no real complaints. Which one did I go through last time? I went through the south one. Yeah. All right. I want to go through the same one. That way I don't run into all the ghouls on the side that I didn't kill already. Because I just want this to, you know, go quicker. On that note. Sometimes I swear I use Expedious Retreat and I don't see an increase in my movement speed. And I'm pretty sure it's because the game gets bugged and leaves the Expedious Retreat uh, speed boost on me. Even though the spell's not there. Because I don't feel like I'm faster right now. And I know a lot of times I go into a quest and I'm shocked at how slow I actually am. And I wasn't that way just now. So I'm pretty sure it's like a mini bug. I probably should have had my hireling uh, use the shrine too. Whatever. He sucks. So it's fine. And then this is the last of the towers. Clay golems. So yeah, as you can see, this quest has clay golems. Uh, hyenas and gnolls at the beginning, but a very small amount of them. Um, mummies. Skeletons. And ghouls and ghasts. No zombies. Nothing else. Oh yeah, I guess a small amount of methods too. Not that they're hugely important. But yeah, a very small amount of uh, methods. Eh, I want the uh, altar. It's a lodestone. Having spell resistance is actually pretty awesome. Just throwing that out there. No, Mr. Wizard Dude, stop hurting me. Look, another. Oh, wow, there's another Wizard Dude. Alright. And I've been feeble-minded. You're not going to drop a chest, are you? Nope. I didn't think so. <laughs> okay, everybody dead? Everybody's dead. Yeah, like, no chest from any of those guys. And on top of that, I've only picked up ten mysterious remnants so far. How disappointing. But yeah, a nice solid 2.5k EXP for that. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, you made a save. <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen too. I like I forgot that that was uh that was the room I was walking into as I was like running into those archers. And then right as I did it, I was like, wait, this is the room with the floor. Ah, crap. Hiring dude, go hit that one. Yeah, there's a mage up there shooting lightning bolts off at us. Oh, really? See? Mage in the corner. See what I'm talking about? It just gets, like, stuck in the corner there. I'm gonna try to just ignore the, uh, skeleton archers. And this, I believe, is a method room. I'm gonna see if the, uh... Alright, I guess I'm not going to see. I wanted to see if, um... Two treasure bags, not bad. God. Yeah, just die, dude. There we go. Uh, I was gonna see if um, pulling the lever while the um, the methods were still alive would trigger a trap, but I couldn't get past the methods to do it. Also, just on a side note, um, that trap deals, like, pretty heavy damage, and, like, around, like, like, 250 damage would be my guess, um, and I totally just pulled that lever while, uh, good, I didn't make the jump that time, while I had less than that, didn't have, uh, fire resistance on, and also while my hireling was standing within the blast range. So, uh, that could have been a, like, oops, I just failed the quest moment. <laughs> I'm glad that that didn't happen, but that definitely could have just happened. I'm being, like, a really crappy uh, player right now, just kind of like, ah, uh, god, I hate these stupid archers. Kylan, can you just hit that? Alright, just, yeah, thank you. It just, it blows my mind that the archers seem to have, like, so much HP, be more, like, defensive-oriented in some way, and also deal, like, more damage than all of the melee skeletons. It's such an annoying aspect. Because <laughs> at least the, um... Like, the melee skeletons approach you, so I don't have to keep running after them, whereas, like, the archers actively try to, like, jump away from me, too. But, like, you know, with all my cleave attacks and stuff like that, the, um, being surrounded by melee enemies is a lot better. This is the trap that actually killed me, I believe, although it's not here today. That spinning blade trap that moves towards you was in this room the one time I did the quest. Alright. More stupid mummies. Come on, you guys can die. That's a trap. Stupid eternal wizard, die. There we go. I'm just gonna ignore those dudes. Because <laughs> I just want this quest to be over. A genie blocks your path. Yeah, so we have to fight the genie again. He's gonna do his same annoying crap where, yeah, he turns into that. Uh, it is all sorts of hilarious, though, to watch him do it against my hireling. <laughs> because my hireling will keep, like, running into him and getting knocked over. No, stay away! Don't knock me down! Good, he's back to normal form. Look, a skeleton. So this time I got no additional chests. I'm kind of irritated by that. I mean, still six chests for this quest, which is not bad, but I mean, the last time it was amazing. 
part of the the high number I got last time um, also stemmed from actually I want my I want to be fully buffed for Ram. Uh, part of the high number stemmed from I got three champion chests too, but still. I mean, that still mean I got like nine normally. So yeah, Ram will pop out of the coffin there. Uh, he does put a cold shield up on himself, or a cold version of fire shield, so each time you strike him, you'll take cold damage. Um, liches are immune to like low level spells, so spellcasters, like solo spellcasters, will sort of have a hard time hitting him because he's also got a pile of resistances and stuff like that from being a lich. You know, just roll with it though. And my strength is currently a 48. Let's roll. Oh yeah, let's cast haste while we're at it. You stand before Rayola with the king of the Even in death. Um but yeah, like melee characters will find him kind of easy. <laughs> Cause you can just like smash his face in. I guess he drops a chest too, I actually forgot about that, so there's another one. So yeah, his stuff there. Um, when you pick this up, this is what ends the quest. Quest is over. Um, and his floor doesn't collapse, so actually for me to go get the um, treasure room, I do in fact have to walk all the way down. Which is annoying. Dude, dude, and I don't think I got any kind of... Yeah, I didn't get any kind of conquest or anything like that. I just wanted to double check. I was positive I didn't. Um, but yeah. Considering that I actively didn't kill a whole bunch of enemies that appeared in front of me, and that I also didn't go through all the halls and break everything, I definitely did not get um, Onslaught or anything like that. But... I'll just keep you yeah, running past them. Whatever. Screw you guys. So yeah, Ram's uh, floor doesn't collapse though, which is kind of a kind of an annoyance, I have to say. It would be kind of cool if it did. I guess probably it was annoying when his floor collapsed and then people couldn't get to the um, his uh, lich thingy. Also, what kind of third class lich keeps his uh, soul in the like chamber beyond where he stands like that? You know, what a third class lich. That's why he got tricked by a stupid demon lady. Lilat. And... You can see it's open. And additional EXP. And three chests. And a stupid goal. Are you dead now? I want to see what this adherence pendant is. Okay, I thought I killed him. Apparently I did not. So, kind of junk. Devotion and wizardry. And a yellow augment slot, I guess. I was more excited about the uh, legendary victory. Or what was it? Impressive trophy, my bad. And two Tales of Valor. Not bad for uh, Guild Renown. So yeah, we're just done here. Uh, now we recall back, go back to the thing, um, get our quest reward, and then I got to hope and pray that uh <laughs> this impressive structure houses the tomb of the wizard king. That um my video came out alright. <clears throat> and then yeah, after this I have one more quest to do here that's uh part of the flagging for the uh raid. And that also has an epic variant. And then after that one quest, we've just got the pre-raid and the raid. Um, I can't do the raid without a group, and I'm pretty sure I can't do the pre-raid either. Um, so whether or not those videos get ever made is determined is based off of how lucky I am at trying to find a group. But anyway, Mirak looks even older than before, but a strange joy twinkles in his eyes. Hero, you have destroyed the Lich of the Wizard King. Of course I knew of Ram's destruction at the moment it happened. At that moment, I planned to master Zawabi's will or perish. I reached through the binding circle to command Zawabi, and then it happened. What happened when you tried to bind Zawabi? I learned that I am a fool. Zawabi's mind is vast, as vast as the oceans. He is far too great to be subjugated by a thrice-old codger like me. 
Instead of forcing Zawabi to obey my commands, I found myself submerged in a wisdom that surpassed the ages. I'm different now, and wiser. I know this body must be my last. The only alternative is the life and death of Rayum the Eternal, and Zawabi taught me the futility of that path. And the Lich thing? Asking for the Lich thing was the worst of my misdeeds. If my plan to bind Zawabi failed, I thought to study Rayum's vessel of immortality. Now I see that I was on the verge of losing my soul. Asking Zawabi what to do with Rayum's Lich thingy. I want nothing to do with it, Murak allowed himself a rye grin. In truth, I was but a hedge wizard who once learned a clever trick. I could never have attained Lichhood. Follies upon follies, but soon my foolishness will end, and I will rest quietly. With this, I'm content. And now we get some stuff. Let's see here. Junk. Junk. Weapons, good effect, and devotion. So, mostly junk. Chaos effect and double shot. Eh, I mean, it's not bad. Junk. Kind of junk. Mmm, junk. 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 I'll take the Tales of Valor. That's how junk that is. Alright, folks, that was that. I'm going to go watch this video and then cry when it turns out it sucks again. But uh, for now, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook.